current risks are being monitored at our beaches. And you can see here that most of the Bay Area right now is under a moderate risk. Today, Manatee County Beach Patrol worked hand in hand with the West Manatee Fire Rescue doing training exercises for different scenarios they might face like rip currents. News Channel 8's Allison Henning has more from Coquina Beach. You can see the conditions behind me are pretty rough out here. In fact, lifeguards have the red flag flying out here today. Not great for swimming, but ideal for training and practicing rescues. Covering Anna Maria Island, Manatee County Beach Patrol and West Manatee Fire Rescue respond to a lot of the same calls with the same mission in mind to save a victim in distress. They've never trained together in the past, but now that's changing. And Lieutenant David Snyder says it's long overdue. There's a lot of shoreline here and we want them to be able to do rescues and active victim rescues or whatever the scenario calls for safely and effectively. For three days this week, firefighter paramedics are taking the plunge into the water alongside lifeguards, working on water entry techniques from high stepping to dolphin diving. Both moves aim at getting rescuers through the water and to a victim as quickly as possible. There's often time something that's needed down the beach that we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go as fast as we can, but they may be able to get there a little faster. So if they're able to get there and make entry and, and get to that victim faster, that that's definitely gonna save lives. During Wednesday's session, firefighter paramedic Casey Fishback was navigating through pretty rough waters, similar to what she might experience on a real call. This is the water type conditions that we're actually gonna have people getting stuck out there or whatever, so it's very taxing and exhausting, but we just kept doing repetitions out there, kept going out there, doing different scenarios, trying to get us all on the same page, like I said, just in case we do need to make a rescue. Aside from practicing the rescue techniques, another purpose of this training was to build some familiarity between the lifeguards and the firefighters, ultimately improving their working relationship for future calls. Reporting from Anna Maria Island, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.